Hello, I'm Keith Black with RA Channel, joined today by Laura Rehm, Chief U.S. Economist for FS Investments. Welcome, Laura. Thank you. So uh, what are your views on the economy? What's your key message today for investors? So today's economy is incredibly strong. And I think we are still experiencing a lot of tailwinds from excess savings from the pandemic, from fiscal stimulus, and from the foundation of a strong jobs market. But looking ahead, I expect growth to slow. And I think that we may avoid a recession, but I am concerned that the probability of recession next year in 2024 is still fairly high. And does that recession come out of the commercial real estate sector? What's going on in that space? And is, it, is there even amounts of distress in commercial real estate or are there some bright spots? I think the happy news is that it's rarely the same thing twice. We're not going to get a repeat, I don't expect, of the last financial crisis that really was centered in real estate. Today's CRE market actually has a very different capital markets backdrop. Not only are you know, loan to value ratios or interest coverage ratios much more responsible than the last business cycle, but there is a lot of private and uh, private investment dry powder that is really able to absorb what is likely to be slower activity from the banking sector. So I think the good news is it's not going to be the commercial real estate market. What is it going to be? It's hard to say what knocks the economy off of a growth trajectory. It's very hard to predict, but there are headwinds that are down the ring. Now, what are you looking forward to in markets in 2024? Is that going to be different in public markets than in private markets? And how do alternatives fit into the mix? I do think that traditional markets are going to continue to be challenged in 2024 for several reasons, because we're just not going to get the nominal growth that is implied by forward earnings estimates. Those are likely going to have to come down and that implies a challenged equity market. And then for interest rates, I think we're going to see the Fed remain hawkish and we're going to see them continue to ring rate cut expectations out of the futures curve. That means long-term interest rates are likely going to continue to rise and a bond market sell-off is going to continue. The fact that traditional markets are so challenged means that private markets are going to continue to outperform and really be the ballast as portfolios in traditional markets are no longer diversified. Now, we, we look for sources of income and we look for sources of growth in the market. Do we get those from separate vehicles or can we mix those together in a diversified way? You know, you want to be diversified when you think about that, right? I mean, we have, for example, um, solutions in real estate lending that, that provide very, very stable income. But it's also important to recognize that there's a lot of underlying resilience in the U.S. economy, especially in the middle market sector. The opportunities for growth there are very powerful. And then finally, why not have both? <laughs> Look for products that provide both growth and income in the private market. Thanks so much, Laura. Thank you.